Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So to start things off, I know I told you guys yesterday that I was going to be focusing on just two games, but last night I came across something extremely interesting made by one of the developers that I've been waiting for their game to release for quite some time now being Hotel Havoc and that is Starship, which he is actually also the creator of Uno on Roblox. But as you can see right here, today we are checking out Dishwashing Simulator. I know a lot of you are instantly going to go into the comments even as soon as you see this portion right here and are going to be like, wow, Carbon, this is very similar to Laundry Simulator. And I'm going to keep it completely honest with you. There is going to be a lot of similarities, but a lot of different things were changed within this game. And honestly, I think the concept is extremely cool, but I'm going to be checking everything out. I played maybe like 15, 20 minutes on one of my alt accounts. And honestly, I really enjoyed it. So let's not waste any more time, man. Like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, like the video if you do enjoy it. I would definitely really, really appreciate that because it does help my content get out there. But as you can see in the bottom, it says, welcome to dish washing simulator let's learn how to wash dishes and make money first head over to the dirty dish conveyor and click on dishes to fill your bucket so we have to pick up a total of five things right here and then it's going to tell us good now go back to your plot and click the dishwasher to wash your dishes so it's obviously extremely straightforward i'm sure a lot of you don't really need a tutorial for this but yeah once the nine seconds has gone ahead and passed go ahead and collect your dishes and make your way over to the drop off zone aside from the fact that the map looks absolutely incredible i'm actually going to give you guys a full tour of everything i think one of my favorite features about this game is these little boards that are on top of everybody's zones or i guess not zones but plots so if you notice for me it says carbon meister's plot and then it says dishes cleaned total bits earned and my total time played and i can go ahead and basically see everybody's information here like if we make our way over here this person bendy has 645 dishes cleaned and has earned a total of 1.72k bits look at all of these dishwashers that this person has actually insane also i I kind of forgot down here fantastic now you're ready to build your dishwashing empire and then it says to get better buckets and dishwashers head over to the o store bro they have like a pyramid on the top with obama's face <laughs> Now, in order for us to go ahead and travel to the store, obviously we can go ahead and just walk out the front door across the street and we're inside of the store. But if you notice, each one of the plots has these teleporters that say upgrade. I can basically use any of them. And this is what they got going on right now. So on the right hand side, you have dish buckets. And then on the left hand side, you have dishwashers. Now here in the middle, you have a update board that basically keeps you updated on everything that's going on in the game. And on top of that, you also have like these little Easter eggs here, Russo's sword, as well as like a Terra Bright juice or slushy, something like that like that i'm not entirely sure and then here on the monitor there is like some type of rick roll thing going on here rb battles would never give you up let you down run around and desert you <laughs> But yeah, man, taking a look over here at the buckets, a lot of these designs are looking really, really cool. You have the cheese bucket, camo bucket, birthday cake bucket. This is probably like my favorite looking one. I take that completely back. Yo, look at this rainbow bucket. It literally matches my shirt. This is the goal right now. For this video, the goal is the rainbow bucket. And yeah, it pretty much continues all the way to the end. And then you can take this little kind of like fast travel thing. And then they have three more buckets on the left side over here, which I find it extremely funny that they used lemons as placeholder because the Hotel Havoc group is actually called seven lemons and even though that has absolutely nothing to do with this game because seven lemons is i believe owned by cheeky as well as starship and this one is by starship and i believe piper is his name but yeah looking here at the other side you'll notice that these are all of the other dishwashers and it's the same exact concept for the most part they're themed the exact same as the buckets and then on the opposite end you actually have a bunch of other ones and it ends up becoming like these double dishwashers a train is coming in for delivery what yo i'm gonna miss out on the train i need to go and drop this off so that, that way i have space run run man run i know we're gonna do this quick we're gonna take the upgrader so that that way i teleport outside and look at that dude bunch of like bronze and silver stuff unfortunately i don't really have the biggest bucket so i can't really take advantage of it and oh man it just left now i'm not 100 sure if this is accurate or not but i did find it last night i don't know if they released this yesterday but i definitely don't think that it's been out for maybe even more than three days and of course like we always do here i will have a link to the game in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself and honestly just by the amount of money that i'm receiving every single time i can already tell that this game is going to be just as grindy as laundry simulator which honestly in no way is that a bad thing people love grindy games yo let's go we just got something emerald 
sick all right let's go ahead and put this in the dishwasher we should have after this maybe 55 60 dollars so i'll go ahead and grab us some more dishwashers maybe i'll even upgrade my bucket so that way it's a little bit easier but let's go ahead and travel to the shop here and see what's going on so the cheese bucket is the next one this one is 12 coins i should probably go ahead and upgrade to this one not too expensive at all and then on this side we have the basic dishwasher for five bits the wooden dishwasher for 10 bits cobblestone dishwasher 25 bits and the brick dishwasher for 60 so let's go ahead and grab some of these cobblestone one and by some i mean one and then we're gonna grab two of these and there we go man all right let's hit build on the bottom grab our cobblestone one place it right next to it and both of our wooden ones now we definitely 100 have to go ahead and upgrade our bucket because we have way too much going on right now for only five space so i've gone ahead now and racked up just a little bit of money we are sitting at 133 right now it's gonna go up to 138 let's travel back to the store and check out what bucket we can actually get now because i want to make my life a lot easier here so unfortunately the next one is the camel bucket and that's 180 bits so i'm gonna need to farm a little bit more and perfect the train is here let's go dude talk about perfect timing now in a few minutes here i'll probably end up getting a couple of game passes just to really give you guys a better look at some of the later game stuff but let's make this final sale here we're now at 218 so we definitely can go ahead and afford our camo bucket and there we go that left me now with 38 which is actually just enough to go ahead and grab ourselves another one of these cobblestone which are great because i've noticed that they finish washing dishes so fast and the storage on it is six dishes let's place this bad boy down grab ourselves these right here we can actually grab a bunch now because we did upgrade our bucket and there we go man instantly 79 coins now before i go ahead and basically buy a couple of game passes and farm for a bit i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour of the map and honestly if you look outside the map is actually really not that big honestly the only thing that i really want to show you guys is something that i found really interesting obviously it serves no purpose at least not to my knowledge as of right now but if you look this is the o store and then this is basically where all of the plots are and you do all of the dishwashing on the left hand side of the o store there's this giant boulder right here but if we kind of go around this boulder you'll notice that there's some type of portal here unfortunately like i said it doesn't really do anything but i think it's really interesting that there's just this random portal here that they obviously have plans to do something with it in the future so uh <clears throat> starship if you're if you're watching this man uh give your boy some of them details huh so aside from that portal the only other little kind of easter egg that there is is this random dancing guy in the back and he says have you heard about the stigma around simulators and i, I think that says travis scott or I, I don't know what that says and dude is just just dancing his life away here man look at him hey uh yeah okay let's go but yeah, man, like I was saying, that's pretty much it for the entire map. They don't really have too many Easter eggs kind of like spread around the map and stuff. Aside from those two that are outside, the only other two that they have are inside of the shop, which is the Russo and Terabyte reference. But regardless, man, I think the game looks really, really good. And I'm curious to hear some of your opinions in the comments. And also let me know what are some of the things that you guys would like to see come to this game. But let's see, man, I think it is finally that time. I got to support my boy Starship here. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some two time speaks. I feel like that's obviously going to help us out a lot oh dude this is like night and day difference look at how quick i am now bro this is crazy i mean dude if there is any game pass in this game that i seriously recommend it's probably the speed one i know that i definitely have to get the two times bit because that's obviously going to help me out tremendously but dude this speed one is insane i'm covering so much ground in literally seconds i can just grab everything here and i'm over at the drop off in, in seconds all right so i've been grinding now for maybe like five seven minutes something along those lines we're sitting at 538 bits so we're definitely going to be able to purchase a lot more dishwashers now maybe even potentially upgrade our bucket and let's check out what dishwasher we can actually afford now so we can go as high as the zan wood dishwasher 575 bits it can hold a total of eight dishes in 30 seconds and a times 15 bit multiplier man don't mind if i do go ahead and place this one down i actually really really like how that looks and honestly to really start speeding up the process this here i'm gonna grab that two times bit because man we need it we need it right now it, it's gonna help me out a lot we're gonna make some real serious progress here so look at that dude 70 bits and that was from my lowest level dishwashers imagine what we're gonna get from this one boom 378 bits just because of the zanwood one that is insane dude all right all right so 100 with the money that we have right now the very first thing that we're going to do is upgrading our bucket because we just need it so let's see 491 how 
how far can we go here? Oh, dude, we can't even get the birthday cake one. It's 600. That's no big deal, though. That's no big deal at all. What is the next one? 3K. Yeah, that's not happening. Not right now. But this is definitely the goal, man. It matches my shirt. So we got to get this 3K. But anyways, now we have the birthday cake bucket equipped. We can hold a total of 20 dishes. We still have 300 coins extra, but we're just barely under to be able to afford the cheese dishwasher. So let's turn in what I have in my dishwasher right now, which is actually nothing. But again, no big deal because we are currently flash. We're zooming through this. There we go. Back at 819 now. What should we go ahead and grab? Obviously, I'm not going to get the cheese dishwasher anymore. We're probably going to end up getting another one of these Zan wood ones. And there we go. Right next to the other one. Looking good. How many can we actually have here? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am I'm terrible at math. I don't even know why I just did that. Does that mean I can fit 48 in here? I ugh, God. why do I do this to myself, dude? Like, why do I even try to do math? Ooh that gave me 780 bits just from both of the zan woods honestly at this point i refuse to buy anything under zan woods look at this we're already at 1100 bits dude yo shout out to arthur man he looks sick look at his outfit arthur you're looking fresh man looking fresh all right so we're now sitting at 3676 bits so let's see what we can go ahead and purchase now hopefully we can get the galaxy one. Oh, dude we can definitely get this one and the rainbow and the golden dishwasher this one does a times 30 35 bit no way but honestly i feel like it's going to be more beneficial to us to go ahead and purchase maybe two of the rainbows instead of just one of the golden so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these which i actually don't have enough money but that's not a big deal because i can just literally come over here grab these bad boys and sell them this will probably give us like what 700 bits yep 780 make our way back to the shop and grab another one of these rainbows you will be mine rainbow bucket you will be mine you just wait and see we'll be right back for that one. Oh, dude no wait go 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 the train's here grab it quick oh i only got 11 things dude but anyways let's go ahead and place down these rainbow dishwashers can you rotate oh you can rotate i guess for right now it'd probably be more beneficial to just do this but anyways i'm gonna grind for a bit till we get pretty much to like this point right here and uh i'll be right back all right so it's now been an extremely long time since the last time i recorded and as you can see down here we are now sitting at 156 thousand bits which is just enough for me to go ahead and purchase one of the best dishwashers in the entire game right now but if we look over here you can see my stats i've done three thousand five hundred and forty thousand dishes cleaned 191 thousand bits in total i've earned and i've been playing now for the last 93 minutes and honestly while i've been in the process of recording this a lot of you have joined the oh my god a train i need this hold on anyways as i was saying so while i've been in the process of recording this a lot of you have joined my game and have been saying that you really enjoy it and honestly i would have to agree with you guys it's definitely really fun but let's get into this big moment right here obviously there is no one on youtube that's done this right now as of the time that i'm recording this i looked up to see if anybody at all has even uploaded about this game and from what i could see not a single person has so we're gonna go ahead and grab the double fire tiger dishwasher this is valued at 140,000 bits it holds a total of 13 dishes takes 45 seconds to clean them and it has a times 310 multiplier that is insane dude but we just went ahead and grabbed that i wonder if i'm able to afford anything than what i have equipped which i do want to say i mentioned that i wanted to get this rainbow bucket but to be completely honest i started earning so much money that i kind of skipped right over to the galaxy one and from the looks of it i can't even afford the golden bucket because it's 24k but let's go ahead man and check out the best dishwasher that is in the game look at that bad boy it is the very first double dishwasher that i have prior to that the best ones that i had were these which actually because of that train i have a full entire three dishwashers with nothing but silver and bronze so let's see how much we get from this 8200 bids you know no big deal but let's see i'm gonna go ahead grab a full inventory here of just pretty much a mixture between you know good dishes as well as the regular ones and we'll see how much exactly we make out of just one cycle of the best dishwasher in the game in the meantime while we wait for those 20 seconds i do have enough money right now to get the golden bucket so let's grab that now there we go now we can hold a total of 35 instead of 30 that i've been working with this entire time also i think this is a really good touch i like how they added an actual restaurant in the front so there is real dirty dishes the chef will basically come up grab all of them and then with his little ray gun or whatever he shoots all of them into the conveyor small little detail but really really cool but anyways the dishwasher is now done i have zero out of 
have 35 in my inventory. Let's grab the 13. A train delivery is coming. Okay, we got to do this quick. So let's see. How much do we get from this? 13,000, dude. 13,000 bits from just random dishes. This is going to be a perfect test, actually, because now we can go ahead and stock up on a bunch of these and see how much we make out of that best dishwasher with nothing but silver and bronze ones. So there we go. I went ahead and put nothing but silver and bronze in there. We're going to let that run for a little bit. Honestly, man, if that rewarded us with 13,000 with just regular dishes and a handful of like special ones, I can't even imagine what this is going to give us. Maybe 20K, 15K. I don't know, man. Let's see. Let's find out now. Here we go. How much are we going to make from this? 19,220 out of that one singular batch of straight silver and bronze. Definitely really cool, man. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. It does help my content get out there and I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.